What up, guys? Kevin here. Or should I say Boomer Kevin? I did a Boomer move this morning that I never thought I would ever do. Um, get to that in a minute. But happy Thursday to you. Happy JRPG Day. Tons of JRPGs coming out. Um, but yeah, this video will be about the games I'm playing. Because I'm playing quite a bit. And maybe a game I'm not playing. But we'll see by the end of the day. So, Boomer. I am now a Boomer. I did something I never thought I would do, guys. So, I would always hear about people working out before going into work. And that just bothered the ever-living shit out of me. Like, wait, you would go and put yourself under stress and get yourself really tired. And then go to a place and be stressed for eight hours and probably be even more tired. But I keep hearing over and over, like, no, no, I... It, makes me feel good. It works. You need to try it. And this morning I did it, guys. I went over to my gym, got a really good workout, and we'll see. We will see. I am pretty tired. I can pass that on the bed. I wonder if these people actually get a real workout. Like, I go hard. When I'm at the gym, I go hard, guys. I'm not saying I lift the heaviest weights, but I pretty much kill myself. So we'll see. Um... But <laughs> I got to say this, I like going at night because now that I realize um, there are mm, all the hot ladies go to the gym at night, at least my gym. And I get a much better workout where I'm looking at a fine looking piece of ass getting a pump in because it's like, yeah, this is what I'm doing. It. I'm doing it for that ass right there, even though I would never have the balls in a million years to go talk to that person. Um it, it trust me as a guy guys know guys understand it sounds sexist but it's true if you want a really good workout put a hot piece of ass right in front of you and you will get a good workout the gym this morning was just filled with old people like fit old people like people that like are gonna go get a kale smoothie afterwards and like i'm just looking around and like is there anyone that i can help get this pump in no I was like I think there's like maybe like a 48 year old woman but these are like people that look like they these are like poo examiners these are, these are such health nuts that they look like they examine their poo like they take a poo and they look down and they they grab it and they look at it and they feel it for texture and they're like honey come here what do you think and he hands it over to his wife and his wife's like totally cool because it's just a health thing and She's all squeezing in like, mm, yeah, I need a little bit more fiber. Um, maybe uh, add a little bit more kale to your kale smoothie. And then she takes a dump and then she takes her poop out and say, honey, feel this. This is what your poop should feel like. And then she's like, hey, kids, come in here. And then she hands both poos. She's like, all right, see, this is a poo that you want to come out of your bum bum. And this is a poo you don't want to come out of your bum bum. And that's the... That's the vibe I get from these people that go to the gym in the morning. They probably look at me the same. <laughs> no, I just come home and I make videos ranting about it. But games that I'm currently playing, I'm um, playing quite a few. I'm trying to something different. I've always played like about one or two games um, at a time just because I can't just concentrate on one game uh, until I get towards the end. I'm like, all right, I'm about to beat it. Um... But I'm trying something new. I want to say this year. just started now. Since there's a ton of games coming out. And I want to play them all. I'm going to play. I think I got like four games right now. That I'm just going to play. Like each and every night it's a new game. And I just want to go over those games. We'll start with Trails in the Sky. Second chapter. Which. Um, the Trail series. I've played about every saga so far. Besides the new one that's coming out. And I would say uh, the Sky Trilogy, or at least the one and a half games I've played now, I'm about halfway through Trails in the Sky SC, definitely the cozy, the coziest saga. I enjoy just being cuddled up in my bed and blankie and playing these Sky games. Just the look, the, the music's the best. The music is the best in the Sky games. Just is. Um, I'm not saying the other games don't have bangers, but uh, just enjoying it. 
My only gripe with the Sky game so far is it's not so much that it's dialogue heavy. All the games are, but there's no voice acting at all. Uh, I did see Super Derek play, and he had like a Japanese mod, so you can hear the Japanese voices. But um, it's a lot of reading, and some nights I just don't want to read. And I'm just like sitting there, I'm like, okay, all right. <laughs> um, but definitely loving it. Second chapter is uh, turning out to be pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. I think it might be my favorite second game. Uh, so far of the three that I played, the Cold Steel, the Crossbell, and now the Sky Games. I think the second game is the best second game. But we'll see. Got to beat it. Next, playing Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, which um, it's almost too perfect. Do you ever play things that are just too perfect or experiencing things that are just too perfect that, but something's still off? That's this game. Like, everything I play about this game is just perfect. Like, they did it. They made uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon, which was excellent, and made it better. Better location. I would even say better characters. I mean, you're hanging out with Kiryu. Um, Kiryu's voice acting. We'll leave that aside. (laughs) And it's just craziness. But... Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say about this game besides it's just really good. It's really good. There's still the Yakuza-ness in it. Still just, um, men beating up men just for fuck's sake. That's a little annoying. Um, I don't know why, like, I, just something about that is off-putting, but like monsters or animals being up like the animal kingdom is fine for me. Like yeah, let's go find a let's go find a dog out in the wilderness and kill it um, instead of just beating up humans, which I think I would be all for. Hmm, Peta, come arrest me. <laughs> but yeah, it's great. Ichiban Kasuga, I think, is a little too perfect. He's he's the best main protagonist. I've seen so many stories over the last week, just game journals just announcing their love for this man. Yeah, he's just the best main protagonist ever. Like, he's the most likable. You cannot play uh, Yakuza 7 or 8 here and not walk away not liking the guy. If you don't like this guy, there is something seriously wrong with you. There is something really wrong with you. You might be a serial killer. I think that should be the serial killer test. You play these games... And if you walk away hating this guy, yeah, you're a serial killer. But like a dragon, infinite wealth, I think about like 10 hours in. Got to Hawaii, having fun. The game's opened up. People say that the game starts off slow. I think that's because they just want to get to Hawaii, and it does take a few hours to get there. But I enjoyed it. The only part I didn't enjoy so far is um, one dude is telling you to go to Hawaii, and it just drags on forever. I get it. My mom's in Hawaii. Let me go. And it just goes on and on and on. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Again, I made a video the other day. These JRPGs, like, they're just so dialogue heavy. Like, cut the cutscenes down a bit. <laughs> um, and, well, you just don't like JRPGs. I love JRPGs. I just want JRPGs to be better. That's all. Then Persona 3 Reload. I am really excited for this. You know why I'm excited? My love for Persona has waned quite a bit. It started with Persona 4 Golden. It was excellent. Then Persona 5 Royal, or just Persona 5. I didn't really play too much Royal. And I was like, that's excellent. Not as good as Golden, but still good. And then we just got an ass full of these little side games that annoyed the fuck out of me. And here we are in 2024, no sign of Persona 6. It is insane what Persona 5 came out in 2017, well, 2016, I think, in Japan. So we're going on eight years, and we have no idea about Persona 6. I know they're doing Refantasio, uh, Magnificent, whatever the fuck it's called. But 
Um, at least we got Persona 3 Reload. And for me, I haven't played the game. I'll allow it. I want to fall back in love with Persona. And it's another Sega one. <laughs> Sega just said, hey, we're going to give two, what, 80 plus, high 80 plus uh, Metacritic score games in less than a week. Man, they're retarded. <laughs> like, spread it out. Um, but this game, we'll see. We'll see. My only uh, worry about it is it looks pretty dank, pretty dark and dank. That doesn't fly with me. I like JRPGs because they're bright and bubbly to my eyeballs. I, I'm like, Tartarus looks like just a bunch of blue and stuff. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, Persona 3 Reload. I'm going to be playing that today. I think it launches today. And then last game, Baldur's Gate 3. This game has been eating at me ever since I played it a little bit last year when it launched. A um, couple things why I want to play this game is it's a like computer RPG. And these are games I want to get into, but they're so, I don't know, like obtuse to me. And it, it's testing my patience. Like just uh, when I get in combat, I'm not like a unga bunga type guy, but... You know, I just want to go up and do my moves and spells and whatever and get on with my day. Um, Baldur's Gate 3 and a lot of games like this, it's like you got to strategize, or at least I do because I don't play these type of games. And I have ADHD and I can't just sit there and go, all right, well, there's this there's this uh, enemy and what are they going to do next and this. Um, my brain is just all over the place and... I'm using it as a way to fix that. Fix that. Like, just take your time. What's the game where they say take your time? Persona 5. They say take your time. And uh, I've been doing that so far. Just only a few hours in. I restarted as a paladin. I'm a paladin. Um, I have the circumcised wiener. That's what I have my character going. Just want you guys to know. Um, yeah. And I just love exploring the world. The world... I was thinking last night, I'm like, what do I love most about video games? I'm like, I love exploring the world, the world itself. You give me a beautiful world, even like a top-down game like this, I'm like, yes. I love going to every nook and cranny. I love how every character you interact with is fully voiced dialogue. Love it. Um, but yeah, this game has just been eating at me. I just want to beat it. I want to beat it, especially since it's not a JRPG. And I need to play more JRPGs, but also sprinkle in a couple non-ones there and here and here and there. All right. Now, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Let's talk about this. Um, it didn't score well, but that doesn't matter to me. The game looks good. It looks like a game I can get into. Now, um, I spent a lot of money already on... What did I buy? Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, and Persona 3 Reload. And I did buy Baldur's Gate 3. I'm playing it on PC. So this is another 60 bucks, And I'm trying to be good with my money this year. I'm doing very good. Like January's over. Done an excellent job. I ain't going to lie. Last night this became available. I purchased it and I hated myself. It felt like that was my first bad purchase. Not saying that the game is going to be bad or I won't enjoy it. I just know I don't have time. I got four games that I went over. And then Rebirth is coming out later in the month. So that'll be like five games. I can't have six games in rotation. Um, I like to play these games like at least twice a week. Um, but yeah, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. I just have no connection to this IP or characters or anything like that. So... And I don't hear anything spectacular about it. I just hear it's a good game. Uh, I think the only issues I really hear is that it's on the easier side. But it, it doesn't feel like a game that I must play. Um, I think, especially as a content creator, we don't need to play everything to have an opinion on it. It's okay for great things to come out and not have an opinion on. It's absolutely okay. You don't need to give in to it. And I'm talking to myself here. <laughs> I, I see it all the time. I see these content whores. They just eat everything up. And I'm like, wow, it's just like every day you watch either a new season of this, a uh, new movie of that, 
or played a new game of this. Like, first off, I think, how the hell do you have the time? Like, there's no way you have the time for this. And just all the money you're wasting. It is a waste of money. Like, you know, I, I believe in just just having one thing and enjoying that one thing. Even though that goes against this video because I'm telling you about four things I'm playing right now and enjoying. Um, but I do think that is true happiness where you just have that one thing and you take the time and you absorb all of it in and you get the most out of it. You develop a bond with that thing. But these content whores, they just eat everything up, gobble, 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 so they can, what, put out a tweet that would make them at most two cents and nobody gives a fuck? <laughs> um, just like this video, no one cares that I'm playing these games. Like, we get it, Kevin, you like JRPGs, you're playing them. Um, but again, I also understand the need to come out here, let me tell you what I'm playing because it's all about me, 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 me. And you can tell me what you're playing, but I don't give a fuck. I really don't. That's the honest truth. You can tell me, and I'll be happy for you like in the moment. I'll be like, oh, cool, you're playing um, Like a Dragon Infinite. Well, that's awesome. Me too. And that's about it. That's where it ends. I'm going to walk away not giving a fuck. Um, but yeah, sorry to get a little base there, but I have to. Anyways, this video is going on way too long. I think I got a clock into work. Holy shit. I got to go. I'll talk to you later. Later.